Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Vigo Man here, and welcome back to Let's Build a Castle. How are you guys doing today? I do hope that you're feeling fantastic. Today, we're going to do two minor projects before we start adding some of the major buildings before I bring out the big guns, if you know what I mean. Before we start doing like the massive cathedral, the bell tower, the feast hall, the throne room, and all that jazz, which is one of the like the most impressive parts of this castle I hope so uh, before we start doing that we're gonna do two more minor projects which is the bridge the bridge where we get into the castle uh, and also we're gonna do the small kennels where we keep the dogs for uh, hunting and all that stuff you can see it for this bridge here we're using a very basic design where we have two arches which is supporting the bridge one small arch and one larger arch and that's just because of the slope of this bridge. We have to have two different sizes. But I think it looks very cool in the end here. We're gonna use like this cobblestone mix for this path going down here like that. I think it looks very, 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 very nice. Hey guys, today I've been having a lot of software problems. So I've been having problems with both my, my recording software and also my editing and all that stuff. And it's really been bugging me. So I hope that I've fixed it now. I hope the video quality is good so you guys would have to let me know how the quality is for this one because I've had a lot of issues as I've said. Hopefully I've fixed everything but it's, it's hard for me to tell sometimes. Anyway, for the rest of this bridge here we're adding some kind of cobblestone in the middle here just to fill it in to make it look realistic and make it look like it's properly supported here. Something we're going to do as well here is to try to mess up the brick texture a little bit because it looks too plain, it looks too new and too good if you know what I mean as we're gonna mix in some mossy and some dirty bricks we're gonna also add in a little bit of stone and cobblestone and that is just because I think that a bridge like this would be one of the oldest buildings for a castle like this because how else would people get into this castle so a bridge like this would probably be very very old and uh, might be very worn down weather has been uh, tearing on it for years centuries maybe uh, and it's starting to really feel that and looks really really harsh and worn down almost a little bit rusty You know what I mean? Then we're adding this light crenellation on the side which is kind of the style we're going for a more dark and heavy Base with a little bit of a light crenellation and detailing But that is pretty much it for this bridge here is starting to look really really nice Let's move over to the canals here. Those will be built next to the stables we did the last episode We're gonna use some sandstone bricks for the base for this one we're gonna have also a little bit of cobblestone on top of that, which we're gonna mix in with several different cobblestone textures and other like other stone textures, and it will look really really nice in the end here. And we're gonna just use normal cobblestone just to get the walls up, and then we're gonna use some world edit magic to really just mix up the side of this to make it look nice, realistic, and get a nice variation in the textures here. So that's what I'm doing now, getting the information I need by using. Uh, the tool info kit here I'm just gonna put that on here. We see we mix in a little bit of cobblestone and normal stone and some dirty cobblestone I'm gonna continue the crenellation from the stable builds all the way over here And I think it turned out really really nice once you have that same Continuity I guess that's the word for um, the stables and to this other smaller section the crenellation looks really nice when it's yeah kind of continued all the way over here and then for the down here we're gonna have two major rooms where, we be, where we're gonna keep the dogs as I said dogs in this period will be used for hunting for small animals like like rabbits and bunnies and stuff like that maybe even some ducks and yeah birds I guess but also to hunt down enemies if enemies are hiding maybe in the castle or around the castle you could use the dogs to find them because they have a really good smelling sense so they would be finding them really really simple and then what I want to do is just add a little bit of a roof to this just to make it look really really nice like that and that is pretty much it for that part guys okay guys welcome to first person showcase where we are kind of walking around the castle taking a look at what we have done in this episode and in between so you can see here that we have a nice, this, the bridge here is beautiful and it looks so massive, the castle looks so massive when you walk from here. It kind of gives me the vibe of uh, Dragonstone in Game of Thrones uh, when they walk up the tiny, tiny walkway. 
up to the castle is like super epic. I think it kind of gives me the same vibe here. I think it looks really cool. And then you go up here, then you go through this gatehouse, which if you're not a friend of this castle here, you're not getting through. And no, no chance whatsoever because we have one gate here uh, which will block and then we have another one which will block and then we have arrow slates on both sides. So if you you get this far you will be shot but if you somehow manage to get to here without being shot and get through this and into here there's another gate blocking you off and there are arrow slates here. There are murder holes in the roof here so you'll be dead by now most likely and then yeah there's another gate so Pretty much no one getting gonna get through here if not wanted to. But also we did this uh, kennels here where we have dogs. You can see we have four dogs. Yeah, four dogs. Two dogs in each of them, and we have some barrels with food for them. I guess they eat fish. I don't know. I don't really think so. But let's just pretend they eat fish. And then we have. I think this should be. These are potatoes, but I think they're potatoes. Yeah. But let's pretend that some kind of meat they would eat and stuff. I guess and just so we can feed them a little bit and those will be used for hunting and stuff like that but something which I didn't do the last episode just because I ran out of time kind of was building the interior of the upstairs of uh, the stables here so we're gonna take a look on that today because first of all I didn't know what to build here and second of all I didn't have the time but this is what I've come up with we have a big tea room. This is a tea room where we have uh, chairs sitting around and we also have a nice fireplace. Look at that beautiful, beautiful heart. Uh, it's beautiful. I like the details. It looks so massive and so royal. And then we have kind of a cheated chandelier here using two different ones and combining them. But I think it works. And then we have some nice ceiling details here with cross beams and a little bit of like these dormers in the roof here. And then this is the area where the servers will be making the tea, serving them to the guys here, sitting around here having a cup of tea and some barrels of maybe water and maybe even some wine and stuff. Because, uh, I, I don't know, maybe we'll drink wine up here as well. And then we have some firewood. But overall, I think this room is really nice. It's one of my favorites so far. And something that's really cool from the top here is that you can walk through and get on top of the candles here like that. So very nice. And from here on, you can go straight into the hall room, like the ballroom, I guess. Yeah, the room where we'll have all the dances and stuff will be in this red one. So you can kind of walk straight into that. So uh, when you're tired of dancing, you could walk over here and get straight into the tea room, which is very nice. But guys, that is all I get time for today. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, be sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vega Man, and I'm out.